Code monkey get up get coffee Code monkey go to job Code monkey have boring meeting With boring manager Rob Rob say code monkey very diligent But his output stink His code not functional or elegant What do code monkey think? Code monkey think maybe manager wanna write goddamn login page himself. Code monkey not say it out loud. Code monkey not crazy, just proud. Code monkey like Fritos. Code monkey like Tabas Mountain Dew. Code monkey very simple man with big warm fuzzy secret heart. Code monkey like you. Like you. Hello there, Code Monkeys. It's time for some more soda reviews. I've been putting it off for longer than I would like to, and I've kind of got a big backlog of sodas that are just sort of sitting in the fridge taking up space, so I need to start drinking some of them. And I've been wanting to kind of try to step out of my comfort zone a little bit with these sodas. Most of the time so far when I've picked up a soda, it's because I thought, oh, this looks really tasty. Uh, I want to try some things that are like, you know, maybe more unconventional or a little bit more of a risk that I might not end up liking. Because if I do end up liking them, then I have another delicious soda I can have. Uh, and if I don't end up liking them, then it's entertaining for you guys. So I'm going to start here with this Stewart's Orange and Cream Soda. As I've covered before on this channel, I have kind of very specific standards for both orange sodas and for cream sodas. And I did like the Stewart's Grape Soda, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to like all their fruit flavored sodas. So this one's going to be a little bit more of a gamble. So let's go ahead, open it up, and give it a try. Come on, there we go. Hmm. I don't know about that. It smells kind of suspect to me. It definitely smells a lot heavier on the cream than it does on the orange, um, which is generally not what I like in an orange cream soda. Um, but uh, like, like I've always said on this show, uh, we don't know uh, until we try it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a taste. Mm. Yeah, first sip not really impressing me on this one. I mean, it just like it kind of tastes like an overstuffed orange creamsicle. Like the ratio of orange to cream is like really off. It's a little bit better on the second sip. I mean, I generally try to give each soda at least two or three sips before I make my final choice on it. Um, I think I'm just kind of getting used to it on the second sip, but I mean, I'll give it another try. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one. I, I wouldn't necessarily call it a bad soda. Um, I, I just, I just kind of think it's, you know, not really to my particular taste. I don't think it's worthy of a, a down the drain. It's not quite that bad, but yeah, it just, it, this, this one just doesn't personally appeal to me all that much. It's a little bit better if I take like a quick sip, but a, a lot of the problem with this one is kind of the, the, the aftertaste. I mean, cream sodas always leave an aftertaste, and sometimes it's a good aftertaste, and some kind of it's kind of like, a, I don't know about that. And this is this is kind of one of those instances where I don't really like the aftertaste all that much, which is usually what becomes the deal breaker for any kind of cream soda. So yeah, Stewart's Orange and Cream, um, not really to my personal taste. Um, if you like orange and cream sodas, I would still recommend that you try it, because maybe this it kind of thing is more to your liking, but it just doesn't go too much to my personal taste. Like I said, not really worthy of it down the drain, but I don't care for it all that much. Well, Cup Monkeys, that's all for this round, so I'll see you next time.